Okay, so 7 times m minus 8, let me just write that again. So here, again, I can't solve within the parentheses because um, I have a variable m minus 8, a number, and this one doesn't have the same variable. So in this case, I have to use the distributive property. I'm going to take my outside number, which is 7, multiply it to everything inside the parentheses. So I take the 7, multiply it to m, the first uh, thing in there. 7 times m is 7m. Again, you have a number times a letter or a vari variable. Uh, when you do that, you're going to write it 7m with the number first. Then you're going to write this sign to separate them. And you're going to take the outside number and multiply it to that second number in there. So 7 times 8 is 56. Uh, I look at this and I can't combine them, I can't subtract them because uh, this has a variable of m and this one doesn't. So that becomes my answer. I'm just going to leave it like that. My next example, x plus y plus 3. So for this one, I have three different things I have to distribute to. I have to distribute the outside number to. So I'm going to take the 2, multiply it to the x first. 2 times x is 2x. Separate it with that sign, plus then 2 times the y is 2y. And I have to separate it with that sign. And then 2 times the 3, which is 6. Can I combine any of these? No, none of these are like terms because this has a variable of x, this one has a y, and this one doesn't have a variable. So you're just going to leave like that as your answer. Okay. So again, when you're using distributive property, you're going to take the outside number, multiply it to each thing inside the parentheses, uh, separate them with the sign, okay, with the plus or the minus sign. Okay. And then after you distribute that, see if you can... Um, combine like terms together. If not, then that is your answer. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.